By the way, I, I guess attrition just isn't a thing in uh, in Luxembourg. You, you can have millions of people here, and for the most part, everything's all good. So, this is gonna be a very different video for me, because uh, I've never tried this before, uh, but everyone has always joked in the comment section about making just the strongest AI Luxembourg of all time, and that's what I'm gonna try here today. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know how well it's gonna go, because I can't really control any of this stuff. All I can really do is just buff the shit out of them, and uh, hope things go alright. When I say buff the shit out of them, we are not holding anything back. I've got some super OP console commands, and let's just go ahead and start off by giving them 50 million manpower. Yeah, that, that seems pretty reasonable. Next up, we're using Research All. A lot of you guys have asked me to use this console command in the past. This is actually the first time I'll be experimenting with it. And uh, yeah, that, that's exactly what you might expect. They now have just everything. Everything imaginable. And obviously, we're using Road 56. Uh, that should help them with a unique focus tree, I'm hoping. Just for fun, I wanted them to go back towards a monarchy. As well as it does help them out a little bit. They've uh, gained a little bit of extra stability. And, of course, they have the hottest milf in the game leading them now. And again, we're not holding anything back. They have their full tree discovered, for the most part, as well as, uh, I think, four technology slots. Now, I could do a ton more. I know that I've done a lot already, but I think this is a pretty good start. Let's, let's see what happens. The only rule I gave myself here is I can't mess with other countries. I didn't want to affect any other surrounding nation around them. Obviously, I don't want to delete other units or anything like that. But we are going to need probably Belgium to go communist or fascist. Which is something we're just going to have to hope for, so I don't break that rule. But uh, they do tend to go that direction, or those directions, in Road 56. As well as we are using pure random AI focus, so that, that definitely helps. But yeah, we just need them to attack Luxembourg. Which they tend to do uh, occasionally. Or I guess vice versa could happen, Luxembourg could attack Belgium. They just need more land in general. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I, I really... I really just hope Germany doesn't take them out, like, instantly. Yeah, three months in, and they are just pumping out units left and right. Uh, unfortunately... Yeah, that, that was kind of my biggest worry. They they just need more territory. You know, but then again, do they really? I mean, they can sit here and suffer a ton of attrition for years, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. Okay, I didn't even get this notification. Uh, Japan is already after China, and it's a pretty big conflict already. We also, of course, have a Spanish Civil War that just triggered. It doesn't really matter, though. I don't think either side's going to affect Luxembourg too much. And within the first six months, that is a, uh, that's a nuclear reactor. So more than likely, they will have at least one nuke before their first conflict breaks out. Damn, this world's heating up fast. Peru versus Chile. And uh, I also noticed we have a fascist Brazil that's starting to rise up. Ooh, now I didn't also consider this. Uh, the Dutch are going Kami. Which means, I don't really know. The whole Benelux region is going to be a little unstable. I mean, right now, who knows? They might be able to take on Germany, I don't want to say all by themselves, but almost. And attrition-wise, they don't seem to be suffering at all. They're, they're doing fine. The problem is they only have one province, so if they lose that, they're screwed. Wow. Uh, okay, um, so we have our communist Netherlands on the rise, obviously our monarchist Luxembourg, and now we have a fascist Belgium. So, there's gonna be plenty of ideologies to attack, although it doesn't seem like our MILF queen has much worry about that area. They've just got plans to invade France and Germany at the moment. And I guess the Nazi hierarchy was uh, not too happy about the rise of Luxembourg. They they ousted Hitler. They got this whole other dude in charge. Yeah, the commies are looking like they're going to have a pretty good game. France is probably going to go communist. And uh, Republican Spain has already joined the common turn. I, I don't know how they did that. Also, can I just say thank you to the Road to 56 developers for actually putting a good portrait of Alf Landon. Because I don't even know who the fuck that is. It's not Alf Landon. This is Alf Landon. This is my uncle getting ready to touch me. Oh boy. Okay, well this might be a problem. Maybe this is the thing that needs to happen though. I don't see who's going to stop Luxembourg right now. Oh god. Uh, that, that is not what I was expecting. That's, that's like worst nightmare scenario. But instantly, a bunch of people just joined the allies. Uh, I guess that's just what happens automatically. Also, we've got a uh, Finnish civil war going on up here. As well as Luxembourg has formed their own faction, just just by themselves, because they, they clearly don't need anybody else. The Luxembourgian Empire. And they truly might be the only ones to stop the Soviet-German Union. This is this is turning out to be like the perfect scenario. Actually, no, let's, let's wait, because uh, this is going to be a huge difference if the Germans and Soviets take out Poland. That way Stalin can actually reinforce that front line. Republican Spain has won. But this doesn't really impact our game anymore because uh, there is no more common turn. And something really strange just happened. Uh, Stalin just completely annexed a part of Finland. We still have democratic Finland, but 
this must have been a, a focus tree or something. Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna be kind of a, a kind of a problem. So, are the allies not a thing anymore? Oh, okay. Yeah, Scandinavia just done goofed. They they probably shouldn't have done the the three brothers thing. Okay, well. Everyone's gonna be at war with these nations. And after getting Lithuania, Poland has just reformed the Commonwealth. Uh, that won't save them very much. They're not a part of the Allies. They're doing their own thing. Th they're still gonna die. And about two months ago, we had Mussolini go after Albania, which they're already dead, but they joined the Allies last second, which made Italy join the Three Brothers. So now they're attacking France, and so is Germany. Well, I, I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think the, the world's last hope is is Luxembourg. Yeah, because this situation is uh, pretty much pretty much worst case scenario. France and the UK are fighting Germany, Italy, Scandinavia, and all of the Soviet Union at the same time. By the way, I, I guess attrition just isn't a thing in uh, in Luxembourg. You, you can have millions of people here, and for the most part, everything's all good. I was just wondering if there are actually Soviet troops over here, which it looks like it. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty. All right, well this is gonna be this is gonna be a good one. Oh, nice. Well, the Scandinavian countries won't be a problem. The U.S. is just kicking ass over here, and they're about to take out Sweden pretty soon. This is a pretty weird notification with all the all the name changes that's going on. It's also just weird to think this is the first time this conflict actually matters now. Again, as I said, I mean, if they lose this single tile, or home, capital, province, victory point, whatever, then it's over. They're done. They luckily have three nukes. N not like that's gonna actually help them that much as if nukes were important in this game. Pfft, wow. Okay, yeah, starting, starting to think they, they were a little bit too buff. Are, are they gonna single-handedly take out all of the Germans and all of the Soviets? Bam, there's a good old nuke right there, right next to Amsterdam, because yeah, as they should. They actually nuked the same place twice as, uh, as the AI normally does. I love how this front just isn't even moving anymore. I feel like the AI just completely moved all its divisions back. I know I had them research all, but I did think for a second there that, you know, as time went by, it's 1939, so they, you know, weren't gonna have as big of a bonus. Uh, well, still a pretty fucking massive bonus. And there's the final nuke. You might as well just hit former French territory, because who cares? So just before the Nazis capitulate, uh, because they're, they would have only survived about three months into this war. Uh, luckily, I think Stalin should be fine. Unless, I mean, they don't have a navy, so I think they should be safe. Cool, I guess me and Yugoslavia have something in common. Um, we both want to die. Tito just joined the Berlin-Moscow alliance, so he's done. Wow, and Luxembourg has found their first new member, Brazil. Brazil has joined the Luxembourgian Empire. Seems believable. There's the Allied peace deal for the three brothers. Uh, they probably, yep, they just put democratic powers in charge. Italy... Yeah, at least fine. All right. Oh no. Okay, Luxembourg managed to make it to East Prussia, so that they have ships. They're evolving. Yep, they managed to get three submarines somehow. Uh, they also now have 112 factories, which I, I want to say before they took out Germany, they only had like 20 or something like that. Oh, okay, yeah, they're building nuclear battleships in 1939. Yeah, that should be enough. Damn, I guess Latin America is just a huge fan of the Luxembourgian empire. I think they got like four new nations to join. Turkey's about to eliminate Iran, who previously controlled all of Iraq. They were actually looking good, but uh, yeah, the Turks are doing amazing. And there's a peace deal. 15 states. You know, they're also neutral. They might be uh, getting themselves a little bit of MILF action soon. And real quick, after taking out Germany, Yugoslavia, and now the Soviet Union, Luxembourg will have only lost 51,000 men. That's... That's pretty insane, but given the shit that I gave to them, I guess, I guess this shouldn't be a surprise. They did start off with 50 million manpower though, so they lost 8.5 million somewhere, somewhere in there. I, I guess they understand now, once you have that much, it, who cares? Here's the peace deal. Okay, immediately, only 32 states. That's uh, a little, little scary. Did no one take out the Soviets? Or were they turned, oh, I think they were turned into a democracy, weren't they? Yep, they're just chilling here, now part of the Allies, and, uh, you know, I guess this peace deal doesn't look too bad. They did just take a ton of land compared to what they had before, as well as I think it's safe to say they would just crush this, uh, rival faction now. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, no, no question about it. And now they have, uh, the industrial power of, of Germany behind them. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they'd be fine. It's just kind of crazy to think that this lady took on 
literally the strongest possible union or alliance in the entire game and and she just completely destroyed him. Actually, you know what? I am going to show this off. So Luxembourg went after France uh, and obviously they just destroyed the allies. It really wasn't even close. Now I think these borders are going to look much, much better and that's a much more appropriate way to end off a Luxembourg Space Marine campaign. And yeah, don't even ask about fucking Guatemala taking 71 states. Yeah, I have no words for this. And at this point, I don't have the brain cells to, to figure out exactly what happened. But as you can see, uh, Luxembourg did form this uh, formable nation, which I don't think we've seen before. United provinces. I don't even know what the requirements are for this. Well, there you go, guys. That was a video that I never thought I'd make. Just a super OP Luxembourg. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see me do this again with someone like Tanutuva or uh, some some places in Africa or uh, Central America. There's, there's definitely some possibilities. I probably shouldn't buff them that much, though. Th that might have been a little bit too much. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Furry Cruz, Papa Toes, Maxi G, Leather Daddy Lennon, Franco is Thick, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Nathaniel H, Maxi G, Tyler, Matthew Rembish, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Bruce Vacation, Matthew E, Elijah Senpai, Kirby, Wyone, and Elfie C.